We gotta save him. That's not Oh. The question is, will I bleed before it's all over? I hope not. You're not gonna make me bleed, are you? Maybe she is. This clutch is the most important clutch, but you know what? Things aren't good, look. These eggs rolled out. Now, these, these literally are carrying some of the newest genes on the planet Earth crisscrossed to make the, the newest snakes in the world. Now, the question is, do I, how many more do I have? This one here you can already see is a problem, but there's a bunch of problems. So now I guess we're gonna learn about all the problems of snake breeding. You know, it ain't always living the dream. Sometimes it's a nightmare, but the part of living the dream is to not give up in the nightmare. So, cause all we really need, the funny part is all we need is two babies to make this go. I need a, I just need two to three babies to make this work. Now, this, whoa, 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 man. Things are gonna get crazy. She's nuts. I gotta have to go get some stuff. Stop filming for a minute. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, girl. Whoa. This snake is tame, tame. Super tame. What's your trip? Come on, girl. Come on. I gotta get your eggs. There's not many good ones. I can already tell you there's a lot of problems. And the weird part is this snake is one of the tamest snakes. I can literally do kids' birthday parties with it. But boy, I'm telling you one thing. It ain't that way now. Come on. I gotta get your eggs whether you like it or not. There's a few good ones in there. We gotta save them. Whoa! Dang! <laughs> so this is the weird part. So she has no clue I'm gonna save what little eggs there are. There's only a few eggs left. But the problem is that those eggs are gonna rot because it's surrounded by bad eggs. She's got like 20 bad eggs. Now, she doesn't know better, so she just figures all of a sudden I'm a bad guy. Used to be a good guy, but now I'm trying to take her babies. So the idea is that I could cover her up. Whoa. Cover her up so she can't see my eyes, can't see me as an enemy. Oh, oh. she's striking anyway. Wow, usually they gotta be a little bit grumpy to do that. Oh, she's striking at nothing now. Maybe her head's out. Mm. Yep, I wonder how this is gonna turn out. Whoa, her head's right there. I almost got it. So she's half in and half out of the box. This is... This is where legends are made. <laughs> and I ain't her, I hope it ain't her gonna become the legend. <laughs> oh man, this is all not right. She is really, really not happy. Come on, come on, I gotta have those last couple eggs, girl. You can keep the rotten ones if you want, but I don't think you want them because they're just gonna create a big problem for you too. Come on. Come on, come on, oh, come on. I think I can get one. Okay, oh, oh, oh. I got one good one, three bad ones. Now, the problem is that one may not be good, but we're hoping is. So she is gonna make the most incredible snakes if we can get these to hatch. Because not only, oh, 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 not only are they carrying all these new genes, they've never been made comp with these particular combos. Look at, there we go. Okay. Hey, guess what? Look at this. Check it out. Oh, you can't come over here, huh? Because you might get bit. <laughs> whoa. Oh, man. I, whoa, 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 girl. You think I'm kidding, that's the funny part. Oh, oh man, you hear that sound? That was my knuckles, oh. Can you hear that? Oh my goodness. I can't tell, did you really hear that or not? Okay, so here we go. There's still more, but the cameraman can't get over here. What's up with that? Come on, girl. I gotta see if you have any more, cause any more fertile ones. Come on. Oh. 
That's a little scary when you don't even know what's where your head is. Come on. She knows where I am. That's the bad part. Oh, there's still another egg in there, guys. Girls, kids, <sighs> officials, whoever you are watching. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Now we got my snake hook down there. <sighs> she's a beautiful snake, by the way. When I take her out for kids, she's a sweetheart. I'd never take her out for kids today until these eggs are gone because she'll be back to her normal self, which brings us to another part. The reason why, one of the things that I like about taking the eggs away is the moms get to relax and go back to normal and eat again. If they don't, they have to stay in this heightened sense of security, protecting their eggs for three months. Because it takes about 84 days to hatch at 90 degrees. Come on, girl. Come on. And this is, seems stressful to me. And when I take them away, it's stressful, but it only stressful for a few minutes. This one's longer than normal. Usually the next day I can just pull them right out and they'll eat. Come on, girl, that egg might be the one that has to, we need. We have to end up with a, so if we end up with a male, it still makes a whole bunch of never seen before babies. I think I'm running for no reason, but that thing's got teeth. Come on, girl. Ooh. Come on. Come on, you still gotta give me that last egg. Whoa. That's why you didn't wanna cross. I know why all you guys didn't wanna cross a minute ago. Did it all scary. Come on, back up, back up, back up. I don't like this distance because it doesn't give me enough room to get away from things. Come on, come on. It's funny, I just still can't. I still can't believe the snake is even acting like this. I figured she'd be one I could just take right out. Instead, she's going to come right out. Come on. Come on, girl. I got to get that last egg from you. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Look at it. It's locking her tongue out. That's not, it's not a good sign when they lock their tongue out. Man, from a baby I raised her. She's never. She's the sweetest snake in the whole world. But, man, her natural instinct to protect those eggs is so strong oh you're gonna love this video question is will i bleed before it's all over i hope not you're not gonna make me bleed are you maybe she is come on come on i gotta get your last egg because those eggs there's no way these eggs will survive zero percent chance because they're 80 percent infertile and the infertile eggs will get basically maggots and everything else there's no way to stop it there's no way that she could possibly do a good job with them. Not to mention, she's not, even though she has all the right stuff, the percentage of survival in the wild is astronomical. So astronomical. There we go. Come on. That they're, they're a threatened species, and they lay up to five or 600 eggs in their lifetime. So that means out of seven, five or 600, only one survives. If one survived, two to survive, that would make it actually where they would maintain Man, maintain them. Now I got, whoa, she's got a toot. I can handle it. I'm married. I'm a trained professional. <laughs> I'm getting that egg when you want to remind me. So now, here's the cool part. These eggs can't be rolled over. This one's been rolling around. Rolling around doesn't hurt it. Do you see that right there? That's the paper she laid in. So that means the egg belongs like this. So the baby should be safe. Everybody should be good. We're gonna separate the good eggs. See the paper right there? We're gonna separate the good eggs, make sure they're all pointing the same direction. And it looks to appear that we have enough eggs that this project is not going to be in jeopardy. The part I didn't tell you that's really good is we already have these genes missing one gene. So if we hatch one male in this right here, we're going to be solid. If we hatch a pair with the, I need one male with the tiger gene in it and we're good. These are all carrying the new gene that we need to add to the older gene, which is the anthrax gene. So now 
we, we know that those two things are in every egg, but now only half of them are gonna be platinum and half of those will be tiger. So we only got a one in four chance to get what we need. If we get all of it in, in these eggs, the other, if we can get the one and two chance, the, the one and one, the one and a quarter chance, one in four chance, if we can get two males of that, it'd be epic because we already have the, the we already have babies we're growing up that carrying the other genes. It's just missing the tiger gene. So we technically have a good grab for the future already, but this should give us a good odds, even though we got a limited clutch here. There's quite a few infertile eggs in there still. I'm gonna work at getting her out because I don't want her to sit on those eggs because then she'll probably still wanna defend them, not eat, be grumpy. We want her back to her old sweet self. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 eggs that look really good. We got two eggs that look questionable and we got a whole bunch that are infertile. The infertile eggs, you can always tell, see how they're off white when they start to dry, they get hard and inside is literally nothing. So all these eggs only have yolk inside. But the funny part is, is when they hatch, they're all white inside and no yolk. So that's what's inside is this crazy stuff right here. And that is like super glue. So if, honestly, if I put a piece of wood right there and it dried, I bet you if we pulled it apart, it would tear the counter apart, even though this is linoleum. And uh, so anyway, so we're gonna put them away and hopefully we're gonna be living the dream in about, so the other babies are about the same age. So it's gonna take three years for the females to grow up. The males only need to be a year and a half old. We can get a, we can make some pretty cool worlds first, even with these babies, if we get it done soon. But to get the super duper crazy, psychotic thing that we're hoping for, it's gonna be three years minimum. So these guys right here are the future of living the dream. And that's what we do around here. We just keep working to move forward, work as hard as we can. If things go wrong, he makes scrambled eggs out of it. No, <laughs> never eaten one, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> but if you ever want it, there's what's inside. I think I'll pass. Anyway, living the dream any way we can, trying as hard as we can. Hopefully you don't see this because if you see it, that means it went crazier than I expected. Whoa. Okay. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna, whoa! <laughs> she almost got me. Whoa! Slow down, girl. Back up, back up. I used to use paper towels all the time to pull them. Cause this gives them something they can bite. Come on, back up, back up. You gotta get out. You gotta get, go, 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 go. Gotta get these eggs out because I just don't want her sitting around here protecting dead eggs and she'll be totally normal. I could take her out and do educational programs with her as soon as they're gone. Well, maybe I'll need a few hours, but whoa, come on. Man, this one is really, I can't believe that this one, this tame is acting so nuts. Here, here, you want a taco? You wanna, come on, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up. Man, I'm really, really, really surprised. I wasn't even gonna film this because I was like, she's a sweetheart and nobody's gonna wanna watch her clutch. It's not even a good clutch. And then she decided to turn on the show, huh? Come on, back up, back up, back up, come on. So I'm, we're gonna work real hard at getting the rest of those eggs out of here. Come on, come on, come on. I really don't want her to have to struggle to take care of those eggs all that time. Come on. Yeah, I'm over here. Yeah, uh -huh. Come on, let me get the rest of those eggs out. Come on. Come on. <sighs> 20 minutes later. Yeah, that was a SpongeBob sound. Come on. Ah, dang it. If I'd have gotten the box out, it wouldn't be as big a deal. I don't want to drop your box. Come on. She literally is using me as a pusher. <laughs> come on, come on, girl, come on. See, she now she's gonna use the technique of hanging on to me to come back around and get me. 
Come on. <laughs> I'm glad she wasn't really using it very well. Come on. Come on, come on. She's just not. Hey, that's my hand you're crunching. Look at that. So she's literally pinching everything. She's going to try every technique she has to keep me out of those eggs. <sighs> this is not as easy as normal with that box halfway out. See, normally they stand their eggs, but because she's half covering them, half not, because they were half mostly infertile. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Jeez. Girl, what's up? Come on. Come on. I feel like I'm going to get bit if I'm not careful. And, and I feel like it looks like I'm not being careful, but it looks like I'm trying to make this happen. And instead, I'm just trying to get her out of the box. Come on. Girl, you got to get out of your box because you're going to not, you're going to be grumpy for days. We need to see your beautiful, nice self back. I'm not going away, so you're gonna to have to give them up. Even though you don't realize. She, she doesn't know that they're infertile. Cause she'd never def try to fight for something that was worthless. But sometimes we fight for things in life that are worthless. Kind of dumb, isn't it? I guess it just comes with the, comes with the, this world is messed up. Come on. We got, we got people that like each other fight with each other. She likes me and I like her and she's being weird. She doesn't even know I'm trying to just protect her and get her hat, get her all over this whole thing. Instead, she thinks I'm her enemy. Look at all these, look at all these infertile eggs. So there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 so far. 15. Hey, we're gonna have to feed the monitors. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eight. Whoa! Jeez, I got lucky. She, she kind of couldn't get around the thing, so she. Come on. Want to play with your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee, if I touch your tongue, I'll be bleeding. Come on. Come on, you're getting excited. I just saw a little bit of her mouth wet now, like she's getting ready to eat. Kind of like mine starts to sour. Whoa, yeah, talking about, whoa. See her tongue locked out? So this is a, by the way, this is a Sunfire Platinum Anthrax. The first one ever existed on the planet Earth. Come on, girl, come on. And that's why, the reason why we used her it's because we wanted to breed her to a, another world's first snake to make, when I say world's first, on the other one, it's actually was caught in the wild originally, and I had offspring from one that was caught in the wild. So in the wild, they existed in captivity. Nobody had ever produced them. Come on. Okay, girl, we're gonna have to make the plunge here. I think this is about the time I, my patience wore out, and her patience is already long out. So we're just gonna go for it. This is where it all goes wrong or right. Okay, maybe I'm not ready for the wrong or right. But she seems to have the upper hand. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, whoa! Like I said, guess what? What did I say, 18? She did it. That was her first clutcher in her life. Okay, I'm gonna try to dominate you. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Plus two more that are questionable. Twenty-six bad eggs and twelve good eggs. Wow, that's a big clutch. Come on. Okay, we're gonna take your anchor away. We're gonna bring your anchor out here so that we get maybe, maybe. Come on, get out of your box. Come on, I got you got me, but you don't really have me. I have you. 
So normally we have it out and it's not as much work. This one's more work because she doesn't want to give up the box because she knows she laid the eggs in them. Come on. God, she's really pushing. Oh. Come on. Okay. Come on, girl. We're just gonna take you out of the box. Come on, you're gonna come out of the box. Come on. So they pick these small little areas because that makes them feel comfortable. If we put these snakes in big, huge enclosures, they're so uncomfortable a lot of times they won't even eat. So just like she didn't want to lay her eggs until she had a small box, we don't put them in those boxes. They want that box. If we left these boxes in full time, won't even half that size, that's where she would live every day of her life. Except when I'm feeding her. So normally they would go hide somewhere in the jungle and then when the food would walk by, then they'd eat it and then crawl back in the hide and that's it, done. Okay, now, this is me and you, girl. Yeah, no more eggs, no more box. Here, how about you show everybody how sweet you really are? Are you already ready to be sweet? Just because now you don't have the, the eggs now? Huh? Are you ready to be sweet yet? Nope, she's not ready yet. She's like, I'm old the grudge. Come on, get out. She's still holding the grudge, I will tell you. I would not. I would not pull her out to hold her right now. I can tell she's still pushy. She's trying to figure out what's going on. She knows the box is gone. She knows the eggs are gone. So I would be willing to bet you by tomorrow, she'll be back to her normal self. Until then, I think we're gonna have to deal with the, with the protective mom syndrome. Come on, girl. She's already a lot mellower, a lot. She hasn't struck at anything. But I still think she would bite me. Cause she's still a little pushy. Whew. Living the dream, guys. We survived, we made it. We did it. Did you make it to the end? If you did, I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day. And uh, next time maybe you'll be in town and you can help me pull the, pull the eggs. And maybe she won't be so grumpy.